Let's go to the opposite world. Look at these achievements, they're so weird. Show me the things which are the opposite of bow. And the one which is at bow. Find the things which are the opposite of the things which are the opposite of. <laughs> these achievements are so stupid. The amount of achievements in this game is fucking insane. Wiggle your nose.
let's go. Make this sound. Find the which makes this sound. Picture which makes this sound. The dog. Find the picture which makes this sound. The fuck up, Luigi. The red circle. The circle. The green circle. The circle. Find the red heart. Pink flower. Find the black. World. Seven. Show me the circle. Find the oval. Oval. What do I need?
Let's go to Listening World. Let's go to Color World. Let's go to Opposite World. Let's go to... Yo. Triangle. You chose. Choose the square. The find the rectangle. Rectangle. Find the circle. Circle.
let's go to Resting and personnel. I think resting level 10, I literally just let it run. He has to be actually. I'll look this one up too.
I have no idea how long this achievement takes. I'll give it a couple minutes and then I'll try with Louis. I don't know what's up with the two player. To make sure the second. Can There's the multiplayer one. Gotta figure out how to rest level ten. Or right, letting him sleep here. Realize I never changed the fucking box art for these three. Oops. There we go. Gotta have the box art for the preschool. I got rest level like one through seven. I don't think Luigi was ever asleep much. What the fuck is with this achievement? <laughs> I'm scared to like reset the game though too. Cause I feel like it's gonna fucking uncount it all. I don't know if he's supposed to be awake or what. It shows him sleeping in the picture. I'll leave it on and I'll check.
I think it actually has to be on like turbo for fucking 10 plus minutes. That seems to be what other people are saying. I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit. Eat. What the fuck, Luigi? Try having him awake for a little. I don't know.
Bro, how the fuck do you get this goddamn achievement? Fuck. Where is it? Pasta. Yeah, see the box art in the top left? It's called uh, Mario's Early Years Preschool Fun. And this actually was a real game on fucking Super Nintendo. Not even a fucking homebrew. <laughs> the achievements for this are so fucking ridiculous. Like, this one is just to reach fucking resting level 10, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know if he's supposed to be asleep or sitting or what. I don't... I'm going to try a different one. I really have no fucking idea what I'm supposed to do. People on the forums are saying they had to leave their game on for like hours. And then other people were like, oh, it's just 10 minutes on turbo. I have no idea. I got rest leveled like seven really long time ago. The other achievements were hilarious to be fair. Like a total just meme game. This is like the only one that's fucking weird. Still kind of funny, but joke went a little far. how huge this thing is like 20 miles long it's actually like one of the few mouse games on super nintendo
and proudly say I did not know you. Nintendo and their stupid gimmicks. God, I seriously don't know how to get. Oh my god, did it pop? Did, I, did he really just need to sleep for like, for like half an hour on turbo mode? Is that really how you get that achievement? Fucking shit, dude. What's wrong with this developer? Look at all the achievements this fucking joke ass game. I don't even know what to play after that. That like ruined. That literally had a sickening amount. That's true, Winback does have Chivos. Forget what else I was even going to play. Boxes.
I did all of these Mario fucking super child games. And Mario Paint. That was kind of more. Tetris and Dr. Mario. Oh god. That has achievements. I'm so bad at Tetris and Dr. Mario. I don't even remember what Mario's time machine was. I think it's kind of like Mario is missing, but worse. Yeah, Launchbox even like connects to your uh, retro achievement stuff and like shows your info. And it shows your score and stuff. You can pull it all up. Loads crazy slow for some Even when it's like pulling up achievements on the side, it's kind of slow. It shows where you're at on the leaderboards and stuff. Mario's Time Machine game kind of has a some banging music though. Constant three times daily Pokemon rewrite. Subtle changes to every Pokemon achievement, every day, every hour. Yoshi's Island would be crazy fun. some pretty good games recently it did like the wario land game obscure fucking james bond rpg river king this weekend is really the first time i've done any like shitty games on retro achievements doing some like fucking homebrew stuff and these dumbass test kits. Fucking Lucia took me. Hmm. What's up? I beat it. Done. I know how to count now, and I can also do my alphabet. And I'm so proud of you. And, I'm so. Uh... Why isn't your very much? Um... Why would it be off? <laughs> it's obviously. Because you finished your. But I'm looking at what to play next now. Okay. And now, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Actually, <laughs> there's zero, but right now there's like forty-two. What should I play next? 
Gloomhaven is not a fucking <laughs> retro game. Who cares? I care. It doesn't have to be a retro game. Also, it's retro. Not like. You gotta help me pick the next. Carmen San Diego. There probably are Carmen San Diego. Not a bad idea. What about Golden Sun? I also love Maja all. Yeah. F on Steam. Mm -hmm. Retro. Golden Sun is super fun, but the like the Chivos once you break like this the Mercury Lighthouse before fighting Tr Know what any of it means. There's like a lot of weird missile. It'll be fun though. No, I'm definitely gonna do gold. Dive into a big. Fun to do something actiony. I should do this actually. I never played this game really. Never beat it. I have to beat the game without pass. Beat the whole game? Down mm. forever? You have multiple campaigns. Yeah, I set my noise gate for like because I'm usually right in front of the mic so if I'm talking from like back here it's going to be super shit usually I'm just like <laughs> using the controller while I'm right here also I set it pretty aggressively because I fucking use my speaker still when I play I don't want to put headphones on because I'm a loser so it's shit <laughs> Can you not read that number? Red. No, yeah. like it's red. It says red. Protect my hairline while I still can. My hair is literally starting to go. Kind of. Bought there. Why does this any and cheap? Oh, duh, this is the Game Boy version and I beat the Game Boy Color mm -hmm. one. I 
don't want long hair. <laughs> the worst. There's so many fucking good retro games. When you look at them all like by their box art like this, it's so goddamn overwhelming. Ninja 5 -0? Mario Party Advance? <laughs> Say that on the microphone. Go ahead. Ask, <laughs> ask me that again right here. Why don't you ever play any Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, why don't I play Pokemon games on Retro <laughs> Because I don't want to have to hundo them every two days. There's like a fucking joke on retro achievements that the people who like make the Pokemon games keep adding new achievements and they keep changing them like every day. And they're really fucking hard because the, the people who make them are like crazy about Pokemon. They're like, it is not just enough to beat Pokemon and collect all the Pokemon. You need to beat every gym leader at level one with only one Rattata. And you can't use any items, and you have to do it blindfolded, and you can only press the right button. You can never go left. Mother 3 is the game that came after Earthbound. Earthbound is called Mother in Japan. Name of it. I don't know. I know. What it's called there. What if I played the Game Boy Advance version of Super Mario World? Let me see if this is actually a reasonable game to be. The Sims. <laughs> yeah. Do you like how I put the Sims game in there? I think it literally has Chivos too. Wait, I'm looking at these Super Mario World Game Boy Advance Chivos. Beat the game as Luigi. Hit 100 lives? That sounds. Hit all the switches. Special world. Find all the exit. Get all the dragon coin. Get peach coin. Peach coin. Get all 600 coins in the. Make you. Dolphin. Beat Sunken Ghost Ship on a Yoshi, that's pretty fucking annoying. Couple damageless castles. Beat the game in 15 minutes. It's actually a way better hundo than the fucking Super Nintendo Super Mario World, though. God, Pokemon Pinball is really difficult, though. To get the 100%. Oh my god. It actually. There's chapters in a Sims game? Max out your friendship with Mad Willy Hurt. Are any of these people in the regular. Misty Water is something familiar. People. Cheddar Chase. There's so many people that max out your friend. Reach night. Popularity is notable. Tactics Ogre would be so good. That's worried. Yeah, I've been kind of playing that. It's really tough. Now, Game Boy Color games, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. 
Daikatana? <laughs> I should do Daikatana. That would actually be hilarious to play. Yeah. This game is like infamously bad on computer, but then they made a Game Boy version that's actually good. Oh, this Metal Gear Solid game is supposed to be one of the best Game Boy games ever made. Mm-hmm. There's just not enough time in the day. I want to play all of these. I really want to play Shantae also. I think it's time. I think I need to remove games from here that I already... Dragon Warrior Monster. It's weird. There's like a lot of games that have a Game Boy version and a Game Boy Color version because they just like they're like, oh, there's color now. Add the same oh, game. Yeah, yeah. I don't really want to play a game twice, like... It's not a... Uh, playing the original Metroid would be... We got to do River City Ran. Wonder if we could even. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, if we can't play a co-op, then I'm not playing. Yeah. Dude, honestly. Just laying down and playing fucking like 50 hours of Ocarina. <laughs> what? What do you mean heated up? Does it more need to be cooked? Crazy. Air scent. I definitely want. <laughs> this is kind of like just my list of games I want to do eventually. For hundred big uh new playlist kind of thing. Always like looking to add more stuff. I think once I hundred percent take it out of this. This would be I don't think, I don't think it in. Gun. Just, there's like infinite Super Nintendo game. That would be super, super. For the past, I feel like I should do it just to have the hundo.
Rude. Ooh, Star Fox 64. I should look at what the achievements are for Star Fox 64. Kind of curious. Of the games I hundo. I was actually pretty far into the Game Boy version of Link's Awakening before I did the DX one. I think the DX one's easier though. Imagine Ultima games still being a thing. I don't know why they'd let that franchise die. There hasn't been an Ultima game since like... Ultima Online basically, right? That's pretty much the last one. I guess he did continue to make a couple other like MMOs like... Abila Rasa, which died really quick, and then like Shroud of the Avatar. Is like a spiritual thing. I don't think it's actually tied to Ultima. I need to go back to this Bomberman game. The damageless bosses for Bomberman Quest are really tough though. Oh damn, did 9 come out after? I guess like those first couple years of Ultima Online felt like a totally different game compared to what it became like 2-3 years after though. Feels kind of weird. I have a lot of games on Retro Achievements where I just need like one more achievement or something. Add. Like Kirby, I'm really close to done, I think. Bomberman Quest, I'm like halfway through the game. Mario Golf, I literally need one achievement, but it's so hard! I think I was really close in Excite Bike, too. Yeah, just three speedruns. Those are pretty tough though. Battle Toads would kill me. <laughs> Kind of just want to play something that's like sort of long. Maybe I will do Ocarina of Time. Like, pretty chill. I don't know.
so many games ready to finish that I started. Let me look at the beginning of little Samson here. I love the art style of those knights. And they're dead. God, yeah, I bet the Chivos for Zelda 2 are like super difficult. take a break for a little bit and cook and stuff but then mm -mm. little samson sounds like a fun game i don't even know how long it takes i can't imagine it's more than like an hour or two i think it's like a pretty chill game Why would you make damage list Zelda 2? There's so much shit that can hit you in a terrible way. That sounds awful. Alright. Be back.